some super Adam's garage here. Today I'm going to be showing you um how to play Minecraft multiplayer on Wii U edition with only the with only the gamepad without the TV. Okay. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to have your homebrew software. You're going to want to go into the homebrew launcher. And go over to swap DRC. You're going to want to press A to install. <laughs> and another thing you're going to want to do is this. Make sure I've had a hard time with this before. Um, my first attempt recording this. Um, go over to the TV settings right here. And Make sure it's set as HDMI, or if you don't have HDMI, make sure you're using a Wii component cable. The AV cables for Wii will not work. So yeah, make sure it's set it to HDMI. Which I've tried this before, you don't have to have it plugged into the TV. TV doesn't even have to be on. <laughs> Just the Wii U. So, <coughs> sorry for not uploading very much, guys. I'm going to try and, um, upload more. So, what you're going to want to do is go to Minecraft Wii U Edition. And normally what happens is you can only use um most of, you can only use one you can only play with one controller I'll be that be it the pro controller the classic controller pro or the Wii U gamepad normally with one um, controller like as you can see this isn't the first player, as you can see here, but if I use a classic controller as an, as one player, and I bring in the other one, and I try and do this, it'll work. If I use this pro controller, you can see there. It doesn't want to work, okay, screw that. Um, you see this Xbox controller is working. So, let's turn this down. Well, I'm going to show you this Sean. I'm going to show you what it normally does. Okay, you can see this moving around. If you try and use another controller, it will say you cannot Join this game as as split screen is only of support. I would not just play the game on a Wii, the Wii U gamepad touch screen. So that's what it says, but you can. Here's what you do. I'm gonna turn the TV off just to show you that you can do that. So what you want to do is remember how I went into swap DRC. Hold on.
Okay, guys. So you remember how you went in to swap DRC? Yeah. So what you're going to want to do is this. No TV, right? Okay. Touch the, the Wii U. That thing. Okay, so Minecraft block appears. Probably a little confused there, so you can't, you're like, you can't play it, right? Okay, well you can either press the TV button, I think. No, okay. You hold this button and this button at the same time. I can't really show that right, I'll try. Hold on. Okay, you can see the Minecraft background. Okay, I don't think I said it. Close out of the software. Yeah, I should have said, but for some reason I didn't. So. Hold on. Okay. Let's go back to homebrew. Swap DRC load. Okay, press A. So now you can see. Shoot. I'm gonna press O and and select minus one. So see the screen's flipping. So now what we can do is go back to, to Minecraft. <laughs> and I'll show it on the TV screen here. Okay, resume. Will this controller turn on? Okay, it's control. It's turned on now. Okay, cool. So you can see this. This is working. Oh. See? This is working. No, it's not. Okay. Now it's gonna be working. And this is all homebrew. Now don't. Now you can't just use the Wii remote. And even if you... Plug in and unchuck, it still doesn't work. You either need a classic controller or the classic controller pro, and my homebrew software has been making these as a pro controller. We'll show you. I showed it in a different homebrew video, in a different video. I'll make another video explaining it. Though, okay. So, let's see, turn on this controller. It's got. You see here it won't work, but you plug in the classic controller, it works fine. Same with this one. Okay. Let's see now, it working just fine. Okay. So what you want to do is, with the controller that you want to be player one, press play game. Go into the world, and this is mimicking a pro controller. So this is A, this is B, this is X, this is Y. Okay. See, this is working just fine. 
moving off of that, if you were to try and use another controller, it wouldn't let you would say. You cannot join this game as cannot join this game as split screen is only being supported when not displaying the game on a Wii U game pad touch screen. So what we're gonna do is turn the TV off. Or try to I'm just gonna do this. Okay, it's off. Now, as you can see, this is working. Okay, so what you're gonna do is press this button. It's going to make it so the game is no longer displayed on the gamepad. Now it's just the Minecraft grass blocks. They're like, okay, Adam, you can't play the game. So, all I can do is stare at this grass block for five hours. So, what you're going to want to do is... Remember how I at, we added a swap DRC? We're going to hold L and the minus button at the same time. So, watch this. It works. See, this controller is still working just fine. You can jump with that. Now, we can pl plug in. You can press start. So, see, it now says press start to join game. So, so we can see, put in a different user. Okay. So, let's check. Let's pick Daniel for this. Okay, as you can see, Daniel is now jumping with this. Okay, you can see that working. Now, if we were to bring out the Wii Remote and the Classic Controller. You can see it. I pressed the button on accident. I accidentally pressed the, um, this button. And I'll say press start to join the game. So, press start right here. Press start. And, okay, let's pick. Let's pick Taylor. And as uh, you can see, Taylor is now moving across the screen. You can see that. And now, let's grab the Classic Controller Pro. Actually, let me show you how to try to play a game with a controller that doesn't have enough buttons. See, nothing works. Sorry, guys. Um, friend is calling. Anyways, I'll call him back later. So, what you want to do is press start. Join the game. And now, we can get mommy. <laughs> 